Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wing Starlux Airlines Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft featuring a sharklet wingtips and a 1200 scale model. I purchased this model from Easy Toys and their website address is www.easytoys.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, Please allow me to share some information about the startup carriers, Starlux Airlines, and how they actually came about. Starlux Airlines is a Taiwanese-based international airline carrier that was founded sometime in 2016, but wasn't officially confirmed until November 30th, 2016, by the airline's founder and chairman, Chang Kuei, who was actually the former chairman of another Taiwanese-based carrier, Eva Air. Then the airline was registered with the Taiwanese Ministry of Economic Affairs as well as the Taiwanese Civil Aeronautics Administration shortly thereafter. And after the Taiwanese Ministry of Economic Affairs received the formal application for establishing the startup airline, the airline was officially established under the name which was conceived officially as Starlux Airlines on May 22, 2017 and officially commenced operations on January 23, 2020. With the airline's first inaugural flights was from Taipei, Taiwan to Da Nang, Vietnam, Penang, Malaysia, as well as Macau, using a brand new Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft as Starlux Airlines officially became established as a luxury charter international based airline carrier. Whereas the corporate headquarters of Starlux Airlines is located in the Nihu District section of Taipei, Taiwan, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Taipei, Taiwan International Airport, which is located approximately 25 miles west of Taipei, which is located in the Daewon District section of Taiwan City, Taiwan. As of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Starlux Airlines currently flies to 12 destinations in 7 countries across Asia for the time being, with an operating fleet of only 10 aircraft, which includes 9 Airbus A321neos, new engine option aircraft, including this one you're looking at here. And in addition to the 10 aircraft that currently operates in the Starlux fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 29 more aircraft, which includes 4 more Airbus A321neos, new engine option aircraft, seven Airbus A330-900neos, new engine option aircraft, 10 Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft, and eight of the longer version Airbus A350-1000XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft. And those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also, as of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Starlux Airlines has yet to receive an airline rating from the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box. What you see there is not much there except the scale 1 200 information, the Starlux title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the airline's logo, the aircraft type, as well as the registration ship number you see displayed in the front of the box. I'm not going to go into the back of the box. It ain't much back there, so we're going to keep this moving, all right? All right, now you're looking at the nice little metal model stand that actually came with the model. And at the bottom of the model stand, you see the airline's logo, the Starlux title, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information at the bottom of the model stand. And then right up here above on the top of the model stand is the actually uh, black pad here. And the sole purpose of this black pad and everyone is that pad not only protects your model, it also prevents from being damaged or scratched when you decide to put your aircraft model on this particular model stand. All right. All right, now you're looking at the commemorative card that actually came with this model. This is the front of it. What you see is the Starlux title, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the airline's logo, the aircraft type, as well as the registration ship on the front of the card. And then there's some more information on the back of the card. So I'm going to flip that and let you see that as well. Let's check it out. All right, this is the back of the commemorative card. And there's the specification concerning this aircraft type, including the engine type. You can pause and read that information if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, all right? All right. With all that information out of the way about the history of startup carrier startup airlines and how they actually came about, plus the so-called little details here at the front of this box, plus the commemorative card, 
that came with the model plus the information at the back of the card plus the actual model stand. And since there's no gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, with no further ado, here is the actual aircraft model out of the packaging box. Let's check it out. There it is everyone, the JC Wing Starlux Airlines Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft featuring the shark with wingtips and a one 200 scale model. All right, allow me to go into some information about this particular livery scheme. I'm kind of feeling this livery scheme. This is the actual livery scheme of the newly startup carrier Starlux Airlines in which the natural color tones were actually chosen to represent the earth as seen from a high aptitude which underscores the airline's infinite respect and the ability to connect with nature at the same time, while the colors on the fuselage on the other hand were actually inspired by earth as well as wood elements with the colors of earthly gold, rose gold, and obsidian iron dark gray was actually interspersed for the sole purpose that was actually designed to add a sense of dignity as well as a sense of luxury. While the airline's logo, which is displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft, actually consists of two dynamic winglet shapes, which forms the alphabet letters S, which actually stands for Starlux, which makes up the main part of the airline's logo, which represents the soul as well as the heart of flight. While the Polaris, which is also known as the North Star, the everlasting beacon of human exploration and travel, is actually displayed right next to the airline's logo, which is located on the tail fin of the aircraft, not only symbolizes the airline's founder and chairman, Chang Kuei's love for aviation, but the Polaris logo also serves as a tribute to his late father, Chang Young Fa, who was the actual founder of the Evergreen Group, which included Eva Air, who unfortunately passed away in 2016, as the airline's overall livery scheme is actually designed to be a true symbol of luxury, while the airline's tail fin design was also designed to represent the boundlessness of dreams and aspiration. So, with all that information out of the way about this luxurious livery scheme you see on this aircraft, with no further ado, let us get down to business and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft model. Shall we? Let's check it out. All right, we're going to start at the front of the aircraft here on the uh, port slash left side. You see the nice little gold cheat line that goes all the way back to the rear of the aircraft there, as well as the, black, uh, the dark, uh, gold, the dark uh, colors right there as well. But more importantly, we see the uh, no, nose gear right here, the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear door featuring the fleet number on there, 01. Plus the Peter tubes and the static ports, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, as well as the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the review. Please stay tuned for that part. But right below the uh, business class windows and right to the right of the L1 entrance door is the actual registration ship number. Registration ship number Bravo-58201, which is this number right here. Registration ship number Bravo-58201. This aircraft is the very first aircraft that actually entered the Starlux Airlines fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on October 23, 2019 and was delivered to Starlux Airlines on October 25, 2019. As this particular aircraft was also the actual inaugurated aircraft that was utilized to fly its very first inaugural flights from Taipei, Taiwan to Da Nang, Vietnam, Penang, Malaysia and Macau three months later on January 23rd, 2020. All right, we're at the center of the aircraft here where you see the Starlux titles. You see the gold cheat line there as well, as well as the dark color there. But more important, these big, nice looking engines right here. And these are the CFMI LEAP, which literally stands for Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion Dash 1 Alpha 30 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular Starlux Airlines Airbus A321 Neo new engine option aircraft. All right, now we're going to, before we uh, turn the aircraft mile around, we're going to stare at the gears right there, including the landing gear struts and the landing gear doors. There's the engine cones right there. And we're going to turn this around and see if the turbofan blades do spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port slash left side of the aircraft featuring the dual engine strikes here and there as well. And then let's see if the uh, turbo fan blades actually spin on this aircraft. Yes, perfect. 
And then there's the inboard lane light inside there somewhere, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears, which include the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard says right side of the aircraft, where you see the engine strikes right here and there as well. Now let's see if the fan blades spin over here as well. Uh, a little stuck there though, ouch. Yeah, there we go, there we go, okay. And then, let me scoot that. Then there's the inboard landing light right there, as well as the uh, front visual view of the landing bogey gears on this side of the aircraft, including the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors over here as well. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, we got a better visual view of the cockpit windows here, the windshield wipers, the radon nose cone, the front nose gear landing gear door, the landing gear lights inside of the uh, uh, nose gear door, the nose gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears. All right, we still have the center of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the chocolate wingtip devices that's on this aircraft, which is the little devices right here. And it actually began back in 2009 when Airbus came up with another credit name for these blended winglets, in which the aircraft manufacturer Airbus decided to call them the Sharklets, as these specialized winglets were designed to enhance payload range performance, resulting in reducing fuel consumption at the same time, as Air New Zealand actually became the first airline in the world to have the Sharklet wingtip devices installed on their Airbus A320 aircraft back in 2012. All right. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and there's the registration ship number right there, as I mentioned earlier. And then right beside the registration ship number is the Airbus A321 Neo decal. Starlux Airlines actually became the first airline in the country of Taiwan that took delivery of its very first of 13 of this particular aircraft variant type, the Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft, which bared the registration ship number Bravo-58201, which happened to be this aircraft here, at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility in Hamburg, Germany on October 25th, 2019. And at the time of this video review posting, there are only nine that are currently operating in service while the remaining four are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery, as this particular aircraft also became the official inaugurated aircraft to enter the Starlux fleet and officially begun utilizing this aircraft on the Taipei, Taiwan to Da Nang, Vietnam, Da Nang, Malaysia, and Macau routes, respectively, on January 23, 2020, as the carrier's entire fleet of Airbus A321neos are currently based and operated from the airline's main operating hub at Taipei, Taiwan International Airport. All right, now you're looking at the tail fin, and what you're looking at is the airline's logo, which is actually displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft, which is this logo right here. And this is the corporate logo for Starlux Airlines, which actually resembles that of two dynamic winglet shapes, which forms the alphabet letter S, which actually stands for Starlux, while the Polaris logo, which is also known as the North Star, the everlasting beacon of human exploration and travel, not only symbolizes the airline's founder and chairman, Chen Kuei's love for aviation, but the Polaris logo also serves as a tribute to his late father, Chen Yang Fa, who unfortunately passed away in 2016, as the airline's logo was not only designed to be a true symbol of luxury, but the logo was also designed to represent the boundlessness of dreams and aspirations. Okay? All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft. What you see is the APU exhaust hole. There's no hole there. It's zero rear power unit exhaust hole. But right on the heat here, there's a little strobe lights right there, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check it out. There it is, everyone. The JC Wing Starlux Airlines Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft from the rear view angle. All right, now you're looking at the uh, starboard slash right side of the aircraft. We're going to start here, the front nose landing gears here, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the fleet number 01, see the PD2s and the static ports, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the uh, registration ship number, the Starlux titles, the front uh, bulk bin door, the um, CFMI 
LEAP, Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion Dash 1A30 turbofan type engines here. Um, the gears right here include the landing gear struts and the landing gear doors, as well as the Sharklet wingtip device you see here on the side of the aircraft as well. Okay, I've got to mention something on the other side. That's the green navigation light right there next to the Sharklet wingtip device you see displayed there. And then there's the uh, red navigation light next to the Sharklet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well. Okay. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the rear um, boat, boat bin door, the AFT boat bin door, the Airbus A321 Neo decal, the registration ship number, as well as the airline's logo displayed here on the tail fin of this aircraft on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, Please allow me uh, to show you one detail, which is the rolling gears. So I'm going to show them right now. Rolls pretty good. The, the model tilts, as you can see there. And the front nose gears, unfortunately, does not swivel. It swivels a little bit, but you got to be careful. But other than that, it's all good. So with that said, let's check out the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. All right. Now you're looking at this aircraft model from the area of bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front of the aircraft where you see the radar on nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, a, uh, a high frequency antenna that broke off, but it's all good. See the Starlux title on both sides, the anti-collision beacon light, uh, the ADF antenna right there, a high frequency antenna. The satellite communications antenna, another high frequency antenna, and then there's the vertical stabilizer, and then there's the horizontal stabilizer with some nice little information on that horizontal stabilizer along with the dot here as well as over here as well. Those little dots, everyone, those are actually called illuminator lights, and the sole purpose of those illuminator lights is that it actually light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the engines and the wings. You see the engines right there. See the ring walkway as well as the flaps, slats, aileron spores, what have you. You see the warning information, fuel dump valve, as well as the top part of the sharklet wingtip device you see on here, on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out over here. The engine's there, the wing walkway, the warning information, as well as the flaps, slats, aileron spores, what have you. Fuel dump valve, as well as the uh, Sharklet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model, where it's mostly white, gold, and obsidian gray, dark gray preferably. Now we're going to start at the front as well. See the radar nose cone, the crew escape hatch door. The front nose landing gear door, the front nose landing gears, and then slab back here and another antenna. Then you see the Starlux title right there, including the red navigation light you see there, the hole where the model stand goes in at, another high frequency antenna, the pressure relief valves right there, there as well, the AF, the APU housing door as well as the horizontal stabilizers, and then let's check out the gears right here. The engine right there, as well as the wings underneath, includes the flaps, slats, aileron spores, what have you. Registrate ship number, fuel dump valve, as well as the chocolate wingtip device on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out over here. The gears right there, the engine right there, as well as the wings underneath, includes the flaps, slats, aileron spores, what have you. Fuel dump valve, as well as the Sharklet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I showed you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage bay view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm getting ready to put it on that nice little model stand you see there that came with the model. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Let's check it out. 
All right, finally got this mountain stand, no problem, no hesitation, as you see it in the takeoff landing position. Now I'm gonna let you check it out in clock rotation at all angles, starting with the port side here. View from the tail cam angle. Starboard side. the front view angle, as well as back to the port side of the aircraft. And since there's no gear replacement doors on this particular aircraft model, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and take this model stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review, all right? All right, the seating configuration. The Starlux Airlines Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft seats 188 passengers in a two-class configurated cabin layout. Here's the breakdown, everyone, from rows two and three, which will be from here to about right here. You have eight business class seats in rows four to 13, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft you got additional 180 economy class seats which brings a total of 188 seats and finally and in addition to the name vietnam penang malaysia and macau as the official inaugurated flight destination on this particular aircraft starlux airlines currently employs this aircraft i have previously utilized their airbus a321 neos new engine option aircraft on routes from its main operating hub at Taipei, Taiwan International Airport in Taipei, Taiwan, to destinations such as Osaka, Kansai, Tokyo, Narita, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Cebu, Philippines, Bangkok, Suvarnabhumi, and Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Those are the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model, are you planning on getting it, or are you planning on getting the in-flight version? You only have an outside chance of getting this model at this point is pretty much on eBay. Other than that, most of the deals are pretty much sold out of it as I'm continuing to play catch-up. I also ordered the Airbus A350-900 as well as the uh, Airbus A330-900neo in this particular airline as well. If you don't get that, highly recommend it because I know it's, those are going to be sellers as well. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. And above all, stay safe. Peace.